Steve Dotto here. I want to welcome you to the next installment of building your YouTube channel to 100,000 subscribers. I hope you're having a great day. I've been having an incredibly busy and kind of cacophonous day. Uh, we're just after the uh, Easter long weekend and a lot of people take the Monday off. Today is Monday when I'm recording this. Um, and I ended up actually having my Easter brunch with my daughters today. So I've running around and uh, I got to tell you, I had waffles and chicken for breakfast, for brunch. Oh my gosh, is it ever good? Uh, that's a, one of my new favorites, <laughs> but I better not eat too many of them. Um, and you might notice something a little bit different. We've got the uh, green screen uh, set up. We're working on green screen, trying to figure it all out. Um, and I posted a video yesterday using the green screen. Don't love it, but I'm getting there. I'm starting to figure it out. Uh, so it's, uh, it's kind of the next stage and the next level in, uh, in, uh, adding some extra quality or adding some extra versatility to the videos. Uh, but I don't really want to spend time today talking to you about the green screen. Uh, I want to talk to you today a little bit more about funding and I want to talk to you about, uh, the, uh, Patreon project that, which I talked about last week when I started to take a look at alternates in funding for YouTube content publishers. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty excited about what Patreon represents to our ilk, to people who create content, not just YouTube publishers, but musicians and uh, artists and, and all sorts. Now, uh, I'll recap briefly if you didn't watch that video, but basically Patreon is very similar. Uh, here, I'll call it up here while we're talking. Patreon is very similar to uh, a service like Kickstarter which is all about crowdfunding, finding multiple people that are going to support you and believe in you and fund your project. And the beauty of crowdfunding projects is A, you gain access to equity, to you gain access to money to pay for projects that you're in. But the theory also is that people who engage and start to purchase uh, or start to support you uh, share that share the fact that they're doing that with their social network, which creates some sort of viral growth for, uh, for the potential for funding your project. And, uh, theory being that like-minded people, people who are friends of people who might be funding you might have similar interests. So you can get some real extra traction out of, out of that growth. Now I have decided to uh, engage and to start using Patreon. I love the model. I love what it represents. Um, here's, here's kind of where I am on the journey as far as discovering how to make a living out of being a content publisher on YouTube. Probably maybe 80%, 70, 80%, maybe more content publishers on YouTube follow a very similar model. It's an internet marketing model. They publish a certain amount of content for free. They give it away. They establish their credibility with an audience such as I am doing with you. And then they uh, monetize that by delivering some sort of knowledge package to you downstream. Typically it's a course, but it could be signing up for a mastermind. It could be hiring for consulting. It could be for coaching. There's a variety of different ways to create revenue out of the engagement and out of the, uh, out of the reputation that one builds by, uh, by sharing knowledge and by sharing information online. Uh, but basically there's some payoff. There's some sort of a packaged payoff at the end. The Patreon model flies in the face of that. It says that if you value my content, if you want me to continue producing content, then I'm willing you, uh, that is, you are willing to provide a small amount of money, like a subscription. Uh, on an ongoing basis. Now, the beauty of this and the magic of this is it means that people like me can then produce content that is just interesting and valuable as opposed to is valuable monetarily. I'll give you an example. Uh, if I was, uh, if I was going to follow the traditional internet marketing model, I would release a series of videos to whet your appetite in a certain topic. And for instance, I've been talking a lot about screencasting lately and I'm moving into webinars, uh, talking about webinars and all of that concept in my, in my live webinars that I'm delivering. Um, in a traditional model, I would be moving you towards signing up for a course that I would teach on screencasting or webinars downstream. I'd get you interested, get you trusting me, get you having faith in my content and, and value my content to the point where uh, the audience then is willing to purchase. And there's nothing wrong with that model. It's a great model. It works well for many, many people. It's just one that doesn't resonate in my soul. I don't like... I don't mind creating the content. I don't even mind creating the courses. I quite enjoy creating the courses, but I don't like the pitch. I don't like the sell. It's, it's just me. I'm, I'm weak. Uh, I don't know. I just don't like doing it. So I don't want to do it. Um, 
I'd much rather just produce compelling content that I think is really fascinating and interesting and not worry about whether or not it has a dollar sign at the end of it. I think most consumers or most of my audience, most audiences would prefer the same thing because let's face it, whenever we sign up for a free webinar, aren't we always waiting for the other shoe to drop? Okay, he's given me this, he's given me that. What's he going to ask me to buy? And when's the pitch going to come? And a lot of us turn off the webinar at that point and, it, and it's hard to remain it's hard to, 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 to build a level of that, that increasing level of trust and engagement with an audience that we all want if at the end of the day, I'm going to ask you for money to sell something. But we need to make a living. So wouldn't it be great if that was up front where we said, look, you know, you're gonna have, if you pay a small subscription fee to support me, then I will be in a position to continuously create content for you. If enough of you do that, to continuously create content, even though there might be no payoff for me downstream. Now, the odd time there is going to be a payoff downstream. There's going to be an affiliate relationship or, or you have found a course, or you might even develop a course yourself that you want to deliver downstream. But it's going to be the exception rather than the rule. For the most part, this subscription model and the support model that Patreon represents means that we can almost live ad free, not worrying about sponsors, not worrying about affiliate relationships, not worrying about selling courses because we can just, because people are saying, no, I'm willing to give a dollar or $5 or $10 or more a month to ensure that the steady stream of content that I'm enjoying from you comes through unabated and comes through without encumbrances. So that's kind of the magic. That's what I hope. It's a long winded way to get to it. I hope. I hope you're still with me on it. So I've done it. I have launched my Patreon campaign and it's just up. You would, uh, you probably haven't received an, depending on when you're watching this video, you might've received an email on it. If you are subscribed to my newsletter, if not, uh, you, you know, you might be just getting the first hint of it right now, but I played around with the different levels that I'm going to, that I'm going to ask for as far as, or what I'm going to give as far as perks, because the beauty of Patreon is you subscribe, uh, you support uh, an artist or a content creator, and then they can give you some perks. And I figured out all of my little perks. And I, you know, you can go and visit my Patreon page by all means and let me know what you think. Uh, but I've done a, you know, little perks like uh, allowing you to gain early access to all my videos, which will be free of these ads that I embed in them uh, in AdSense. And actually, at some point, Patreon could take over for AdSense. And so that I don't even have to embed advertising at all in order to, in order to make the living that I want to make. But that's the, that's the kind of this ongoing process of discovery, figuring out how a YouTube channel can provide a living for, for us. Uh, so I'll be able to, at some point, be able to make that decision. I don't particularly love having the ad bar and having to make, make room for it in my, as I shoot my video. And so at some point I'd love to get rid of it, but Bottom line is I want to make a living from this, so I'm going to keep it in until I'm making better money from something else on it. Then Patreon could well be it. So what does it represent? What does it mean? Well, Patreon in a perfect world, if everybody gave a dollar a month, which for me would work out to about five cents a video, if how many subscribers do I have right now? If I had all 22,276 of you subscribers or people that are subscribed to my account, giving a dollar a month, five cents per video, I'd be laughing. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be making terrific money. I would actually be able to get rid of all of my ads as far as AdSense goes. And I would be able to hire full-time people and start doing full-time shows, all the different things, uh, sorry, doing a weekly or daily actually live broadcast, which is one of the things that I talk about doing here as the, uh, as my milestone. So, you know, if I reach $12,000 a month, I'd like to start doing a live show, which is call in and engaged and, and really, and really reaching out and engaging with my audience on an even deeper and more meaningful level, but we'll see. I, I don't suppose, suppose all 22,000 people who subscribe to my channel watch each and every video, nor do I assume by any stretch of the imagination that they're all going to be willing to stick their hands in their jeans and pay me a dollar a month. Although it would be lovely if it did happen. So that is where we are today. So you now watching these videos is, is if you're evaluating making a living or what the opportunity, the business opportunities are on YouTube, you can start at Easter of 2014 is the weekend that I started to launch my Patreon campaign with a reasonable size, uh, number of subscribers, 22,000 subscribers. And I will be sending out an email to my newsletter list, which is just over 10,000 or so of you, uh, that I'll be sending an email to, which I'll be telling, basically asking for support on Patreon. I expect 
the largest unsubscribe of my mail list to happen shortly thereafter as people go, I don't want to be bothered by him asking for money. Uh, but the bottom line is, uh, you know, there is a quid pro quo. I am going to be providing great content on an ongoing basis. If the audience doesn't recognize that fact, they don't value that fact, and they consider a request for some support to be egregious, well, they're probably not going to be a long-term audience member for me anyways, and uh, they're certainly not going to be interested in all the type of stuff I have to have. So it may be better that they, you know, they find somebody else that they follow at this point. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see. And I will let you know how many people unsubscribe as soon as I send out the email. It'll be a fascinating, it'll be a fascinating real-world experiment. A uh, little bit of a rambling uh, 100,000 subscriber uh, video today, but uh, I did want to talk about the whole, kind of do a part two of the whole Patreon thing. Last week I was looking at it and I'd been evaluating it for over a month, looking at it, trying to figure out how it works. But as I've said, I am really excited about what this represents, not just for me personally, but it's, it, this could be the dawning of a new era for content creators, being able to actually make a reasonable living without having to, without having to sell and package courses and do all those other things, but instead be actually be, be able to be paid in a reasonable level for the content that we produce day after day and, and free us up to produce more and better content day after day. And that, I have to say, is pretty damned exciting. So you like the green screen? Uh, maybe, I'm a, check out the video I shot yesterday. It's on uh, Audacity and <laughs> tell me what you think. It's not quite perfect yet. I still got a little shadows and my pets ran amok in the middle of the video, which I just decided to leave in because it was I found it relatively humorous. Uh, but this is the kind of the next stage. I, got, I know I have to, after upgrade, upgrading the lighting to get to the point that I have good quality lighting, now I have to really work on how I'm going to light this green screen and how I'm going to position it. Uh, but I've got the basis of it. I'm starting to figure it out and uh, figuring out how to use it within ScreenFlow and that sort of stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. You'll see, you'll see lots of different green screen experiments over the next few weeks. Some of them might be hideous, uh, but we'll eventually figure out a way to incorporate that with our videos and make them that much more compelling as a result. Well, that's all the time I have today. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, remember, uh, oh, look, it's for the first time I'm going to ask, if you enjoy this video, if you find this content to be valuable, please consider supporting us as a Patreon sponsor. I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle.